Academy for Technology and the Classics, or better known as ATC, is currently the top boys basketball team in Class 2A. You know, after last year's success, the, the kids are really trying to continue on what we built, and I think we're doing a pretty good job. Last year, ATC reached the state final with a chance to win their first ever championship, but lost to Pecos 52-49. to Last year was pretty heartbreaking, pretty, pretty rough, and it was... It was Hard for us to swallow that three-point loss, having a, an 11-point lead at halftime was rough, but again, that goes back to senior leadership. Free throws is what killed us last year. I mean, we missed uh, 13 free throws. We lose by three, and we missed 14 layups. So that, that, that was a huge uh, impact on us. So we've really focused on making sure we make our free throws, make our layups. They feel like it's unfinished business. I mean, and you know, on any given day, you know, anyone can beat anyone, so we just got to show up and play every day. This year's roster has seven seniors, including four of their five starters. Their coach designed a schedule to get them battle tested for the postseason. I personally picked certain teams that I thought would be some of the top competitive teams in 2A, and I went out and actually scheduled games with them and went and played them at their place, right? And then, I mean, it also doesn't hurt our schedule that nine or ten of our our games throughout the season were against four and five a opponents and we beat every four a opponent we played how's this for a monster matchup atc's last game of the regular season is a date at navajo prep number one in 2a against one of the top teams in 3a he tells me it's a championship atmosphere and i know they're a hell of a team so we're just looking to go out there and try and play and compete and hopefully that'll help prepare us, right? Mark your calendar, that game is scheduled for February 24th. For the New Mexico Activities Association, I'm J.P. Marietta.